What is up guys, I'm Grunt and welcome to the second episode of Learning the Maps, the series where we go through each map in detail to help you with your map knowledge so that you can go into these maps and succeed. Today's map is Coastline, let's go. First we're going to start outside the map with spawns and exterior cameras. The first spawn is main entrance on the east side of the map. You'll spawn in a car park and from here there are three ways to get to the map. The first way is off to the left. Taking this route will take you to the southeast side of the map, giving you access to the theatre balcony window and the dirt path that leads to ruins. Following it around to the right will take you to the Lamborghini doorway, which is your entrance into main lobby. The second way is off to the right instead of the left, and this will also take you to the Lamborghini doorway and take you to the penthouse window. The third way is off to the far right. This will take us to our first outside camera. And if you continue heading west from here, you'll get access to the penthouse window, service entrance, kitchen wall, VIP balcony, and the pool. You can also get up on top of this building here. You can climb up any of the walls, and this will give you a nice view into penthouse, Hall of Fame and VIP. And if you go really far right, there's a path that leads around the back to the pool spawn. Moving over to the pool spawn on the northwest side of the map now. From here, you again have three ways to approach the map. The westmost path will take you to the ruins and our second outside camera. This will also give you access to Sunrise Entrance, Hooker Deck, and the Sniper's Perch. The second option is to go straight into the pool. Quick note though, there is a spawn peak from Hooker that you won't be able to see until you're already dead, so proceed with caution. This will take you to the kitchen wall and give you access to the VIP balcony, sunrise entrance and hooker window. And the final option takes you over to the main entrance spawn and if you went around to the left there you'd end up at the main entrance spawn as well. The final spawn is in the southwest at the ruins. We've got three main options. First is to follow the south pathway down and around to the south side of the building. This will give you access to sunroom, CCTV and the aquarium hallway. And take you back to the main entrance spawn. If you were to take the stairs instead of the dirt path, you'd find yourself outside of an office and on the north wall. And the third way is off to the north. This can take you to the west wall and our final outside camera. Or if you follow this tunnel all the way down, you can get to the pool spawn and then go up to the sniper's perch. From the sniper's perch, you can see into hooker, billiards and blue bar. Let's head inside now to the first floor. Just quickly, in these sections you'll see in the top left the name of the room, another name for the room in round brackets, callouts for that room in square brackets, 
Also in curly brackets will be more specific callouts. So we're going to start with sunrise entrance from the pool spawn. Not too much to see in this room. It's really just a connector for outside and sunrise. It does have a window looking out of the kitchen wall though. Sunrise is a very important room to have control of when the objective is in blue bar or kitchen. It has a window looking out to the ruined spawn and the west window. Very useful for denying entry to blue bar via the window. You can also gain access to the blue bar by opening up those walls. The bar is a good place to hide if you're fighting for control of sunrise and you've got someone to cover the hallway behind you. Moving into the first floor hallway now. This connects blue stairs, kitchen, sunrise, blue bar, courtyard and the lobby. It also has our first interior camera. Kitchen houses all three objectives and is among the more popular sites to play. It connects to the kitchen wall on the north side of the building and servers entrance off to the north. That northwest corner is where a lot of anchors will end up when a lot of pressure is applied from the window, so make sure you keep an eye on those shelves as you enter the kitchen. Let's head over into service now. This room, like Sunrise, is an important room to have control over if the objective is in kitchen or even above in penthouse, as a pulse with a C4 can really ruin the attacker's day if timed correctly. It also has the other bomb site that pairs with kitchen, the plant site extends all the way to this door, so make sure you don't let Monty get in, otherwise good luck if you have no one to flank him and the attack is from penthouse. A good way to hold the service doorway is from the toilets or bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Just break open that north wall. Be aware of this drone hole, otherwise attackers will easily take at your ankles if you're not careful. Moving into the lobby, this will take us to the other end of the hallway which gives you access to the courtyard window and kitchen wall. In the centre of main lobby, there's a desk that provides some good cover from the Lamborghini doorway. Quick tip, if you're defending theatre above and you let Buck have control of main lobby, you will not be in theatre for much longer. Main lobby also has our second internal camera, Not too much happens in Courtyard, because it's in the middle of everything, but there's a few quick rotations defenders can use to get from the top floor back to the bottom floor very quickly. It's also one of the only rooms where a defender can be outside and not get detected. Going into CCTV, this room connects main lobby to the office via the sunroom. If you're attacking blue bar from the office, it can be very easy to get flanked from CCTV if you aren't careful. Both Sunroom and CCTV have windows that overlook the dirt path connecting ruins and the main entrance spawn. The office is a very important room to control when the objective is in blue bar, as it's right next door and attackers can easily get the walls open and take control of site very quickly. A lot of runouts will happen from the office as well, whether it's to get some cheap kills at the start of a round or to stop attackers from getting into blue bar from the window. The final room on the first floor is blue bar. Probably the most unpopular site to defend, it's small, has a lot of entrances and breakable walls. If you're unlucky enough to have to defend this, defend the rooms next to blue bar, as it'll probably be easier than defending blue bar itself. Let's move up to the second floor now, where we'll find the rest of the cameras and four of the five hatches. Continuing on from hallway, going up blue stairs takes us to the second floor hallway. Hooker is a very good room to have control of when defending the top floor, especially if the site is in billiards. It has a window overlooking the pool spawn, and a doorway that looks out onto the sniper's perch, which also takes you out onto the hooker deck or balcony, which can be used to get an angle onto the VIP balcony 
or to get to Sunrise entrance below via the hooker stairs. Hooker also has our first hatch on coastline. This hatch will take you into Sunrise right next to the blue bar wall. The second floor hallway connects a lot of rooms. Blue stairs, hooker, billiards, VIP, theatre, white stairs and aquarium hallway are all available from the hallway. VIP. Very useful to control when defending penthouse. It also has a hostage of its own. Similar to main lobby though, if you let Buck or Sledge get up here and have control, they will quickly be able to get you out of the kitchen below. Hall of Fame connects VIP and penthouse. It also gives you access to the VIP balcony, which is mainly used to push penthouse and VIP. So, Penthouse. Probably the favourite objective site on Coastline. It can be accessed from the bathroom via the hatch in the roof. It also has a window looking out over the main lobby swarm. Usually you'll find an anchor on the back wall. Blackbeard will easily be able to dispatch them once he has control of the window. And just so you know, you can shoot through that bed, so just keep that in mind. Penthouse also has the second hatch, this will take you down into the main lobby. Theatre. Crucial to almost every defense strat for Penthouse. If the attackers get control of this too quickly, it's GG next round for the defenders. Moving back into hallway now, if we go north we'll find the third interior camera. There's also a vase you can hide behind if you plan on defending the hallway. This also takes us back to VIP. Let's head over to the theatre balcony now. It has a window overlooking the main entrance spawn, and you can also vault over the railing to get onto the white stairs. White Stairs connects the second floor hallway to the main lobby. Over to the aquarium hallway now. This has our third hatch which will take you to CCTV. It also has a window overlooking the aquarium balcony. Vaulting through this window will take you onto a little platform in the courtyard. Very useful if you're worried about breaking some bones from falling off the roof. Into Aquarium now. This room will take you out onto the Aquarium Balcony, commonly used by defenders for some early runouts. If you're defending Billiards, make sure you have control over Aquarium, otherwise good luck holding off the attackers. Aquarium also has our final camera. And the last of the inside hatches, which will lead into office. It also has a bar, which is a useful place to hold off attackers trying to enter from the balcony. Just watch out for grenades falling from the roof. The final room is Billiards, one of the more popular sites on Coastline. It's bigger than Blue Bar and gives you more defensive options from inside the room. It also pairs nicely with Defending Hooker. If you're a Habana, see if you can get the courtyard wall open. That'll make your life a lot easier when attacking billiards. And if they don't reinforce this wall, Ash and Zoe can do the exact same thing. Finally, let's head up to the roof. We'll start at the southeast by the theatre balcony window. Scattered all over the roof are these little drone holes. 
These can be used to quickly get your drone inside from the roof. Or you can throw grenades through them to try and catch a defender off guard and piss them off. From the railing in the middle, you can get a view into almost every part of the three hallways, and if you open up the walls, you can attack billiards and blue bar from above. The second grenade disposal unit will take your grenades and put them behind the bar in aquarium. The third drone hull will take your grenades and drop them off on the blue stairs. And the final drone hull goes into Hall of Fame by the VIP doorway. And the final hatch is also located up here, taking you into bathroom. Now, if you've seen people play Coastline, you've probably seen them get onto the roof that looks into Penthouse. The way to get up there is jump up onto the grenade disposal unit, look at the three corners of the fence, run and vault, crouch and vault up onto this vent, walk across the roof and over the purple sails, and run onto the roof. Make sure you go from the corner, otherwise you'll end up breaking your legs. From here you can look straight into penthouse without having to worry about the runouts that would usually catch you if you were repelling up the wall. You can also get up on these bushes to look into Hall of Fame as well. This front section can be a little bit tricky. Just walk up the side as you won't get a vault option. And now if you're a 3 speed you can actually vault into this window, but I'm sledge so... Let's go over the bomb sites now. Coastline has eight of them. The first pair is in billiards and hooker. The second pair is in the theater and penthouse. The third pair is in the kitchen and service entrance. And the final pair is in blue bar and sunrise. Moving on to the secure sites now, the first one is in penthouse, the second one is in billiards, the third one is in the kitchen. And the last one is in blue bar. Last and probably least, hostages. The first one is in theater. The second fuse target is in the VIP lounge. The third bullet bag is in the kitchen. And the final hostage is in blue bar. Mm -mm. 
So that'll about do it for the video. For the rest of it, I'm just going to play a compilation of spawn peaks, runouts, and useful rotations. You'll see the attacker's view first, and then the defender's view. So thanks for watching. Leave your feedback down below that, so that I can make the next video better, and tell me which map you want to see next. Also, there were four hidden drones in the map layout section. Tell me how many you found and where they were down below.